What's up family, Trio here and today we want to talk about multiple relief checks going out that's worth up to $1,000. These are considered to be inflation relief checks. In addition, the IRS has just changed their rules for the upcoming year and they are trying to help millions of Americans keep more of your money in your pockets. I have the details to share with you today. Last but not least, President Biden has come out and stated that he wants your vote and he gave you an excellent reason of why you should vote for him. Will you bite the apple? That's the biggest question. But anyways, guys, hey, let's go ahead and discuss it today. But before we get started, you already know what to do. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and jump into the video. Well, as the midterm elections is just around the corner, Georgia just smashed the record for early voting. Yes, guys, a lot of people are going to be voting this year because let's just face it. We have gone through a lot over the last two and a half years. Wouldn't you agree? In addition, millions of Americans are at risk right now of losing their health insurance if the United States ends its COVID public health emergency in January. Now, I told you guys in the previous video how uh, the President Biden has extended the COVID public health emergency just after he stated that the pandemic is over. So again, guys, what is exactly is he doing? Is he flip-flopping? That is exactly what he is doing. But the good news is that he probably did this because he is trying to make sure that Americans are not left without their insurance. And yes, guys, that is because President Biden has extended the uh, COVID public health emergency, which is causing millions of Americans to continue to have their health coverage through the month of January. But the question is, what's going to happen after January 11th when and this particular extension it actually expires. We'll just have to see, guys. But President Biden is doing this because not only is he trying to prevent millions of Americans from losing their health insurance, but also because he wants your vote. Yes, President Biden is issuing a 2023 pledge to the Democrats saying, look, we need to hold on to Congress. And if we do, I will assign abortion rights into law. Yes, guys, Biden put it out there. He is saying that, look, if you go ahead and vote for him in the midterm elections, as well as voting for the Democrats in the midterm elections, he is going to make some huge changes that is going to affect millions of Americans, specifically in regards to the abortion rights, which is the controversy that we have been dealing with over the past 60 days or so. But anyways, guys, President Biden's promise comes as the Democrats Fear that abortion rights is fading as a campaign issue. Right now, a lot of people are not talking about this uh, when they go to the early voting. And yes, guys, this is a huge thing that all Americans need to vote on. Whether or not you're on the right side or whether or not you're on the left side, it doesn't matter, guys. I won't necessarily tell you how to vote, but I will suggest that you do go ahead and vote for these particular things in this country as well as in your local communities. But anyways, guys, President Biden said that he wants your vote and this is why you should vote for him and the Democrats come the midterm elections. But anyways, guys, I'll let you guys judge on whether or not who you will be voting for. But anyways, that is your prerogative. But moving on, guys, hey, we have some information in regards to from the IRS, and that is because they are changing some of their rules, saying that, look, we need to make sure that tax filers in this country are able to keep more money in their pockets, especially after those tax filers are dealing with this high inflation. Yes, it says right here that tax filers can now keep more money in the 2023 as the IRS shifts some of their tax brackets. Now, this information came out on Tuesday in which the IRS announced some rule adjustments to account for inflation for the 2023 tax year, including some shifts for tax brackets and the standard deduction. Now, the IRS IRS releases inflation adjustments annually, so this is very common, but this year's announcement comes amid the heightened economic concerns about high inflation and a potential recession. So it looks like the IRS is trying to do something about it. It looks like the IRS is trying to lean a little bit forward to actually help millions of Americans out because we are just really dealing with all of these things right now in this country. First, the pandemic, and then dealing with these presidents and the past presidents 
sense? I mean, when will it ever end, guys? And the variants, they just keep showing up at our doorsteps. But anyways, guys, the IRS wants to do something about it. And actually, this is a good thing because they want to make sure that Americans keep more money in their pockets versus paying to Uncle Sam. If you guys agree with this, hey, comment down below and let me know that you are excited about this little bit of information. Now, it does say that the standard deduction will increase by $1,800 for married couples filing jointly, by $1,400 for head of households, and by $900 for single taxpayers and married taxpayers filing separately. But anyways, the income thresholds for tax brackets are among the provision changes of the greatest interest to most taxpayers. According to the IRS, the tax rates themselves are unchanged from last year, ranging from 10% to 37%. But the income cutoffs have actually shifted, which means majority of Americans are probably going to get to keep more money in their pockets. I am definitely excited about this, guys. But moving on, guys, as we continue to deal with this uh, idea of having a recession or moving into a recession, some people are saying that we are in a recession right now. Some people are saying that we will probably get into a recession by the end of this year. And then some people are saying that this recession probably won't happen until the second half of next year. But what is the real answer, guys? Well, it really doesn't matter because either way it goes, we do know that we are probably going to have a recession and it doesn't look good as we see right now. But recession risk continues to rise as economy unexpectedly continues to shrink. Yes, companies are drawing down, uh, businesses are losing money, as well as American people in this country are actually losing money as well because they are having to pay more for like bread at the grocery stores, as well as gasoline at the gas pumps. So yes, guys, this looks like the economy is continuously shrinking every single week. And in addition, we just received some information or some data that just came out from Redfin, which deals with the real estate game. And yes, they are announcing that the United States saw a record drop in home sales for the month of September. So yes, guys, all these things are affecting because we are moving towards this recession and it doesn't look good, guys. They're telling people to strap down, uh, cut out those uh, wasted expenses, those things that you don't need, cut out Netflix. But anyways, guys, yes, we do need to be mindful of this types of switch because things are probably going to get worse before they get better. So yes, guys, we are entering into a recession. But on the flip side, according to Netflix, they just reported their numbers or their quarterly earnings report. And it looks like some Americans are not hurting at all because Netflix is stating that they just added around 2.4 million new subscribers. Yes, guys, this is good information because a lot of Americans are sitting at home right now. They don't have a job or they are actually doing well. And yes, they are actually subscribing to Netflix and with they just increased the streaming giant's bottom line because 2.4 million subscribers at around $7 a month or $12 a month, that is going to add a huge income to their threshold. But anyways, guys, moving on to some stimulus update news, we do need to talk about some inflation relief checks. And we have about two states that are sending out those relief checks right now. The first state that we have on the list is California. They have pretty much given out a ton of relief checks, a ton of stimulus checks, a ton of regular checks, a ton of checks, guys. Yes, California is sitting at the top of the list because they pretty much reported a huge surplus over the summertime. So anyways, guys, California inflation relief checks, and we have some new dates that were just announced for these particular debit card payments to be issued out to California residents. Now it says that if you haven't already received California inflation relief payment, it looks like you may have to wait a little bit longer than previously anticipated. California Franchise Tax Board announced some new dates for those who have yet to receive their middle class tax refund. Yes, Californians are reminded that direct deposits typically occur within three to five business days from the issue date, but they may vary by what bank you use. Yes, you need to allow up to two weeks from the issue date to receive your debit card by mail, and the FTB expects about 90% of direct deposits to be issued in the month of October, with about 95% of all MCTR payments, which is direct deposit and debit cards combined to be issued by the end of this year. Now, payment amounts vary on income from your 
2020 taxes. Below is the breakdown of the expected payments according to the Franchise Tax Board. Now you can see right here, this is for the joint returns, AGI of $150,000 or less. You will receive around $1,050 for dependents or $700 without dependents and so on. I won't read all of them. For head of household, your AGI of $150,000 or less, $700 for dependents or $350 without dependents. And then if you are single, your AGI of $75,000 or less per year and $700 with a dependent or $350 without a dependent. But anyways, guys, you can continue to read all of that for yourself. But single filers making more than $250,000 and joint filers making more than $500,000 are not eligible for this California inflation relief checks. So that is some pretty bummer news. But then again, if you're making that much money, you probably don't necessarily need an inflation relief check. But on the flip side, they are going by your 2020 taxes, which means that if you were laid off in 2021 or this year, that really hurts for you, right? Because you are not eligible for one of these particular checks. So anyways, guys, that is the information on the California Inflation Relief Check. And I will include a link to this article down below so that you can check it out for yourself to read all of the details. But uh, moving on, guys, we also have another state in which the state of New York. Yes, millions of Americans are also going to be receiving an inflation check in the state of New York. It says right here that millions in New York will receive receive inflation checks, but exactly who will receive one well, you have to read this particular article. Now, it says that many Empire State residents are going to get a check in the mail to help combat inflation. Governor Hochul and other New York leaders announced $475 million in tax relief is coming your way to nearly 2 million New Yorkers. Yes, it says that 2 million New Yorkers will receive $475 million in this tax relief program, according to Governor Hochul. Yes, Hochul says that the money is all part of New York's effort to combat inflation as well as to improve affordability. Now, with this particular relief package, we're making good on our commitment to helping hardworking New Yorkers throughout the nationwide affordability crisis, according to the governor. This particular program will put money back into the pockets of nearly 2 million New York families that are struggling to make ends meet in the face of the pandemic, in the face of the inflation, and the other rising costs that we are all experiencing right now. She said, my administration remains laser focused on improving affordability statewide and I thank the legislature for its partnership in ensuring that New York families get this much needed financial assistance. But anyways, guys, these particular inflation checks are going to be mailed out this month. And I believe that they have already started being mailed out. So you definitely want to be on the lookout because we are almost to the end of this month. And you definitely want to be mindful of when you're going to be receiving these inflation checks in your mailbox or either by direct deposit. But yes, guys, 2 million New Yorkers are going to be receiving these. And they're telling people that the checks will be mailed in envelopes that look like this on the screen. So definitely want to pay attention to this if you live in New York. But anyways, guys, over 1.8 million low income New Yorkers and families will receive some form of tax relief. And on average, each eligible recipient will receive a check of $270 in the mail or by direct deposit. Officials say eligible New Yorkers can expect to receive their checks by the end of October of 2022. So that is like in 10 days, guys. So you definitely want to be mindful of that. Like I said, I will also include a link to this particular article down below so that you can read all of it out for yourself as well as pay attention to this envelope because you definitely don't want to accidentally throw this envelope in the trash. But anyways, guys, hey, that's all we have for you today. I hope this information was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. But feel free to check out some of the items down below. They are a great way for you guys to save some huge money as well as how you can receive some free cash in your pockets. Those links will be down below. But anyways, hey, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, Hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.